Good morning, everyone. This is Leah Dixon from Port Coquitlam, British Columbia, and I'm just popping in right now to do my regular Wednesday morning Facebook Live. So just while we wait for some people to find this, because I forgot to um, post a reminder last night that I was going to be doing this, I'm just going to pop in here and leave a little comment um, that way I'll be able to view your comments as you come on. Excellent. So there we go. So I am so excited and I've been so busy enjoying my summer that I haven't really been able to get on here and share my excitement with you about our new catalog. Good morning, Janice. So for a little while now, I have been able to show you the cover of our new, um, August to December or holiday catalog, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, and I've been able to show you the cover, but I haven't been able to show you inside the catalog. Um, and I'm not really going to today either. Um, I really just would like to get on and make a card, but um, I can actually now show you the inside of this gorgeous catalog, some of the really fun stuff that we have to play with. If you don't have a copy of this catalog yet, please let me know. I've just ordered another 16 to be able to send out. And um, if you're one of my regular customers and don't have one yet, please let me know because I did put you all on a mailing selector to receive a catalog. Um, so some really nice stuff they've done a really nice thing as well this year is they've brought back some old favorites so the Merry Moose and it'll tell you if it's a returning favorite or if it was in last year's holiday catalog so today I'm going to be playing oh and there's a lot of Halloween stuff and Thanksgiving things and just lovely lovely pieces in here um, so today I'm going to be playing with kind of a mix of a returning product and a new product. So the Feels Like Frost 6x6 DSP, Specialty Designer Series Paper, is a returning favorite. And so we're going to be playing with that because I just think it's so absolutely gorgeous. Um, and that is a 6x6 stack for $20. You get 48 sheets and one side has these gorgeous, well here, I'll just grab it and show you. Um, one side has these absolutely gorgeous, like, photographs on them, basically. Um, so beautiful images of, like, up-close pine needles, beautiful sceneries. And then the other side is all um, white and silver designs. Um, leaves, snowflakes, you name it. Um, stripes. And all in white and silver. So super beautiful and so much fun to play with. So that is the designer series paper that we're going to be using today. So that's a returning favorite on page 42 in our catalog. And then on page 40 in our catalog is the stamp set that we're going to be using and the dies. So this is an ornamental envelopes bundle. You get this beautiful stamp set as well as these awesome dies. So I'm just going to show you up close what those things look like. Um, I know it's my favorite as well, Janice. When I saw it was coming back, I was ecstatic. Um, so this stamp set um, comes with all of these lovely stamps. This is actually one large stamp set. And what is so super cool about it is that when you stamp it, this die, I do always take mine off. And, um, so this die fits over those perfectly. Okay. Over here, um, to cut him out. So works out really nicely. And then if you wanted, you can even come in here and just have like a plain one with the little flowers in there. So really, really beautiful, really easy to use. We've also got this die here that just cuts out these flowers um, exactly, just all three of them. So no kind of lining things up or whatever, just stamp the whole thing and then cut out what you want. Um, but the real reason why I could not resist this and what had to be, oh, so glad, Marie. Is it Marie or Mary? I guess it's going to be hard for you to tell me. Um, um, it is so beautiful. But what really got me were um, I have wanted these dies for cutting the envelopes forever. Um, I'm not sure how this went on there. Oh, my. I'm going to have to figure out how this all goes back together. Um, that's okay. I usually use... <laughs> Um, uh, so I usually use, um, 
magnet sheets to do these, but this is so brand new. I haven't even had a chance. But so what these are is these are to make those gorgeous liners for inside of your envelopes. I'm going to show you today how we do that. And then we have these other really beautiful, um, dies that we can actually use to cut the envelope flaps as well. So that a little bit of our paper shows through to the outside as well. So just really amazing and so much fun. And I don't have it yet, but soon I will have our new die cutting machine to play with as well. So for today, I'm going to be using my old machine. Um, but uh, I have my new machine on order. I am so excited. All right, so today I am really kind of winging it. I have an idea in my head of what I want, um, but normally I would have a sample to kind of follow along with, and I do not. But what I do know is that I want to kind of be a little fun in my coloring. I don't want to use super traditional colors. So we're gonna do Granny Apple Green, Poppy Parade, and Coastal Cabana for our stamping today. Uh, so first thing is I've got all of these awesome um, ornaments here on um, on my block and we're going to go ahead and I'm just thinking that I need one color that's just a little bit darker. Um, let's see, maybe we'll add in hmm, some Pacific Point instead no I don't want to do that okay we'll just go with red as our darker color that's fine so poppy parade is going to go in here and it's the first thing we're going to do is we're going to ink up this whole stamp with our poppy parade okay come on and so it is brand new I have stamped with it a few times just to try and kind of wear it in but this bottom corner seems to be a little resistant okay we'll hope for the best so I've used Poppy Parade, and what we're going to do is on the right-hand side of our card, we're going to come in and stamp that. I'm going to try and be straight, and we'll see how that went. And voila. All right. So that is all stamped. I'm going to grab my chamois, my very, very messy chamois, and we're going to clean this off because I'm now going to grab a piece of scrap paper and I'm going to stamp these same ornaments two more times in my other two colors. What's kind of cool is that with this one stamping, um, I'm really going to be able to get three cards out of this because I'm going to be able to use my leftover pieces um, after cutting them out to create other cards. So be kind of cool. All right, so now we'll come in here with our Coastal Cabana. And I'm going to stamp that. Oh, let's just make sure we're really inked. All right. So this week I have been really bad about posting stuff. Long weekends always kind of throw me off track. Um, we've been just having so much fun with family and with stuff around, projects around the house, lots of gardening and all that, um, that I totally lost track of. You know, even what day of the week it was, it kind of surprised me when I woke up this morning um, that it was Wednesday. I'm like, oh, <laughs> card day. So I promise I will get back on track um, with posting and stuff. I'm going to try and get a bunch of stuff um, scheduled tonight so that I'm not leaving you guys in the lurch without any inspiration over the next week or so. But um, my sister just moved to a new place in West Van. And it's right near Bachelor Bay, which is so awesome because that is actually our maiden name. And it's even spelt with a T in it, which is a little bit unusual, um, which is how our name is spelt. So super fun. We've been heading down there, doing some swimming, watching the waves, and then tackling her, um, what, 80-year-old's garden? 80 years? Must be. The house was built in 1940, and the garden's been there since then, and unfortunately has not been kept up for the last five years, so we've been um, trying to undo some of the damage that was done in the last five years. Um, all right, so we've got those stamped. I am going to now grab my die cut machine and cut these out. So, let's see. I will just clear some space here and pop this in 
So I've got just my regular, you know, same drill. It's just regular dies. So I've got my base plate and my two cutting plates. And then I'll pop this on here. And my base plate is magnetic, which I just love, especially with larger dies like this, because I do find that they really stick and hold in place. But what I am truly loving about this is that every one of these pieces, I didn't have to try and line it up and use my stamparatus to get it lined up and everything. Um, oh, you just ordered this one too, Gwen? Awesome. Um, oh, you just ordered and now you have to add this. Yeah, I know. My wish list is gi gigantic. It's ridiculous. All right, so we'll just pop these off. Put them to the side we'll use them in a few minutes and we'll cut out all of our green ones and then we'll have lots to play with i mean you could really have some fun with this and like go crazy with tons of colors and then just kind of mix and match as uh, as you want to design cards all right so what i do and what i will show you right now is when i've got a die like this that's going to create extra pieces for me um not usually with the dies but with the stamp set that it coordinates with i grab a clear envelope and i stick it inside my stamp set case so that when i'm done all my extra bits that i didn't use can go into the case and then i've got them right there ready to use on another project um, so let's just show you. Let's see, where did I put the stamp case? So I'm going to grab my stamp case here. Grab. We sell these awesome clear envelopes. They're the medium sized clear envelopes. And I often use these when I'm doing swaps or to display my cards when I'm selling them at a craft fair. That way people can pick them up and touch them without wrecking the cards. Um, and so I take one of these, they've got a little sticky strip here. And so on the inside of my stamp case, I'll peel that off. And then I actually fold it over backwards so that my opening is still at the front. And then here I can actually use my bone folder to really crease that. There, and then all of my extra pieces when I'm done will just slide in there. So when I go to use my stamp set, I've got extra pieces and then I can see, oh, look, I don't need to stamp it in Coastal Cabana today. I can use my extras and I'll just stamp it in, you know, Gorgeous Grape or something and, um, and do that. So that's all set up so we can put our extra pieces in there afterwards. All right, let's bring back our card base. And, oh, that was really not very straight what I stamped, yikes, all right. Well, we're going to go with it anyways, and this will just be one for, you know, the kids or something. All right, so I am going to put a strip on here. I think I want a busier pattern, though. Um, I've kind of chosen that one because the shape kind of matched up with the centers of one of our um, ornaments there, but I think I want something a little busier. Uh, so let's come in here, and we've got this one. Good morning, Lori. Yeah, that's going to be better. Just a little bit busier and I'm going to use up the space a little bit better. All right. So I'm just going to measure out how much space I have. So I can get away with about a one and a half inch strip. So I'm going to cut this at one and a half by five and a half. That's excellent. So that's going to go on there. And before I actually put that down, we're going to add a little bit of color to it because I'm feeling like today's card, I want it to be really bright and fun. Um, so I am going to grab, oh, it's right in front of me. That's why I can't see it. I'm going to grab a little sponge here. Uh, you could use a brayer for this as well, but I happen to have my sponge like right here. And I'm just going to come on here. Oops, try not to crinkle my paper. I'm going to come on here and I'm going to sponge some color on. And what's cool is it's not going to stick to my silver. It's just going to come in here and color 
the white on my paper. Good morning, Kathy. All right. And so I'm trying to do like soft circular. I'm trying not to get any real um, like strong color spots on here. So a little bit of a circular motion. Sorry if that's making people dizzy. That's a little, a little bit too much movement, I think, for a camera this close. All right. Just about done here. And there we go. All right. So we've just got a little bit of soft color there just to make this a little brighter, a little bit more of a fun card. So that's really what I'm aiming for is like a really fun, bright colored card. All right. So with that, and then because I sponged it after I had cut it, I do have a little bit of a darker edge. So what I may actually do is go get a piece of Coastal Cabana and um, put a little Coastal Cabana border around this anyways, just to kind of take away from that darker edge. So I'm just gonna grab a snippet of that. So that's gonna get cut at five and a half as well by one and a half plus an eighth. There we go. So one and five eighths. So this is one and five eighths. So it's just gonna create like the tiniest little border there for us. All right, grab my stamp and seal. Oh, no, that's my one that I haven't refilled. Well, this is a good time, actually. I'll show you guys how to do the stamp and seal refills. So you basically just kind of pull it apart. I'll grab my refill here. So the refills come in these little bags. Open that up. There we have it. So this one is not like the snail or anything where you've got to take out like a little piece that stopped it from rolling. I know that it's used up because I've got that red strip there. And then I literally just pop this back in. So there's two little wheels that fit into the back here. So you pop that in, pop your case back on. There we go. And we're set to go. All right. So I'm going to... Oh, and sometimes you have to start it a little bit. There we go. And now that it's started, it just rolls so smoothly. And we just run it and then roll at the end so that it stays sticky on the ends. All right. Now, this part, I'm still practicing, trying to get things straight without having the ability to kind of scoot them around like I could with liquid glue. I could, of course, you know, stick with liquid glue, but the how easy this seal is for application just makes me want to use it for everything. All right, there we go. And put this down beside my very crooked ornaments. Yikes. All right. And then when I flip this over, there is a little piece there. So I'm just, I could use my paper trimmer or I'm just going to grab my scissors, my snips, and come in here and just trim that. There we go. All right. Now let's finish up this card. We need a sentiment on here and we need to play around with some of these ornaments and get some other colors in here. So I don't like how this bottom one stamped. So we are actually going to change that one. Um, to another color. So there we go. I think we're going to go with green for that. And then maybe a little Bermuda Bay there for that one. And I think we need one more green on here. Maybe this one in green. Um, actually, no. Maybe not. We'll keep that one red. I'll do this one. Hmm. I don't know. This is always the part that I struggle with is how to do these. And these two I'm actually going to switch up. There we go. That's going to become that. And I feel like I want a lot of Bermuda Bay on here and just a little red. Hmm. 
Maybe keep that one red. Maybe I will go. No, where did it go? There's my green one. Do that and that. All right, so we've got just a little bit of red on there. I may actually even, no, that's too much. Hmm. All right, so I think we'll go with that and keep those ones as red. And then we've also got the little red there. And then I'm going to do our sentiment in red to kind of bring the red through it all. That's really bothering me how crooked that is, though. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, no. All right, so now to put these on, I am going to use... Okay, actually, I think that one needs to be red. Sorry, guys. This is my problem, is I have such a hard time deciding on colors. All right, like that. And then like that. All right, I think that. No, I'm still not happy with that. Hmm. All right, last go here. We're gonna switch this up, make that like that, and that like that, and keep the two small ones red. All right, I'm happy with that now. Okay, final decision. Let's not break it. And <laughs> so I'm going to use some dimensionals to attach this, if I can find them. Um, there we go. Uh-oh, they're stuck to something. Ah, there we are. All right, so I'm just going to pop a dimensional onto the back of each of these. Maybe this big one I'll use too. Um, and we'll pop these onto our card front. And so this is where I'll try and be a little more careful about lining it up. There we go. This one, just one. And pop that on there. So if you wanted to, you could totally ink up your image with pens as well. Switch the green, these two greens switched. Switch the green and red at the top. So like not having that, make that one. Okay, gotcha. Thank you, Janice. You're always so good at figuring out where the colors should go. That's my biggest trouble. Oh yeah, that's way better. Thank you. All right. Yeah, that creates a really nice balance. And then I'll just peel this off so I can save this for another day. There we go. All right. So my very crooked card. <laughs> And now I am going to grab just a little scrap of white. And let's see, I have so many of them lying around. Um, I had so many of them lying around. Let's see here. All right, so we've grabbed that. Now this stamp set actually doesn't come with any sentiments. So I am going to use my Itty Bitty Christmas. It is my absolute favorite um like all christmas sentiments um stamp set and i think for this one um celebrate the season i think i'm just gonna do christmas cheer because i just i don't know there's something about that font that i absolutely adore so grab that pop that on here and now I'm actually second guessing doing this in red. I actually am worried that I'm going to end up with too much red on here. And I'm thinking I might actually do it in Coastal Cabana. But I have so much paper here. Well, let's just test it out in both. And then you guys can let me know which way you prefer it. Okay, now Coastal Cabana is definitely not going to be dark enough. Sometimes I mix it up, and if I'm working with Coastal Cabana, but I want something a bit darker, I will come in and use my Bermuda Bay. It is close enough, and yet just, you know, adds a little bit extra pop when you need it. So I've got my Bermuda Bay, and I'll also stamp it in poppy parade and then you guys can let me know which one you think is the best 
Okay, well, that was really bad stamping, so good thing I have lots of scrap white. There we go. Uh, <laughs> I apparently have not had enough coffee or something today, or my glasses are crooked, because man, oh man, is my stamping crooked today. All right, so we'll grab that, and we'll grab that. The other ones we're going to toss, and let's check this out. So if I put this on here... Yeah, I think actually overlapping it that way, just like that. And I'll fancy up the ends and stuff. So we've got Bermuda Bay or we've got the Poppy Parade. I'm thinking Bermuda Bay. So I'm going to start trimming up my ends on this while you guys let me know what you think. Um, and I'm going to pop this into my um, pick a punch. So this was a half inch strip of paper that I was using. And I'm going to pop that in there. Okay. And the other side. I'm waiting to hear what you guys think about Bermuda Bay or Poppy Parade. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking Bermuda Bay. And so, yeah, that was the take a pick punch that I just used there to trim up the ends. And... I'm not hearing from you guys, so I don't know if I have a bit of a delay or if you guys are just going to let me run with this. <laughs> All right, I'm going to run with it. So I need to find my mini dimensionals now, which I know they're here on my desktop. There we go. Both look good. Yeah, I don't know. I just think the Poppy Parade is maybe just a little too bright. If I had done this, like I think I might redo this card in Melon Mambo and do this piece in Melon Mambo as well. And then I would do the Melon Mambo words. But I like kind of keeping it um, tone on tone there. Do you like the red? <laughs> so let's see that. Or let's pop this in here and get the nice ends as well. Um, oh. I got that locked. Punches work better when you unlock them. All right. So you'll notice that when I work with this one, I do work with it upside down. That's so that I can see, because um, there's a little bit of wiggle room when you work with the half inch. Oh, and that was too far out. All right, let's put that in again. You're right. It does kind of pull it in instead of leaving it as an isolated thing. All right. There we go. That's more balanced. Yeah, and it kind of creates that nice kind of line across the card. All right, Janice, you sold me. I'm going to put that into my envelope with my other bits and save that for another day. We will do the red. All right. Here we go. Oh, sorry, it was Kathy who said she liked the Poppy Parade. Okay, so Kathy and Janice, you're both, you're overruling me. All right, there we go. So we'll pop that on. We'll get rid of the backing off the card. Oh, no. There we go. All right. So my very crooked card just needs a little bit of bling now to get this all decorated. And I happen to have my Holiday Rhinestone Basics. So now these are, um, these are carryovers. And I believe they're actually in the annual catalog, not in our new holiday catalog. And so I'm going to come in here and do a little bit of playing around and adding in some pop. So on here, I'm not going to go too crazy. I'm going to go color on color on that ornament. And I'm going to take away the squareness of this one by doing color and color on there. And then I think I'm going to bring in a just a little another touch of red down here and put in these little dots like that and then maybe a little green up here all right so even though I use different greens than what are in this kit it actually works quite well to kind of give that um, that just a little bit of dimension having the slightly different tones and everything and there is our card all finished up so now i did say i was going to show you the dies for with the envelopes because we can have so much fun with our envelopes here now as well so i'm just going to move some of these little bits out of the way ah all these little bits 
So all these things, I'm going to go pop these into um, that stamp case so that I have them for another time. Oops, there we go. So pop those in there. Shake them down, there we go. And now I'm going to grab my DSP again and an envelope. And we're going to have some fun decorating our envelope. So I'm just grabbing a regular Whisper White envelope. And here we go to go with this. And then a piece of our designer series paper. So I think actually for this one, to line the inside, I am going to go with that less busy pattern that I had out before. It'll still be all matchy-matchy, but... Um, It'll just look really nice. So we're going to grab that. And I am actually going to sponge the whole piece this time so that we have that look all over the whole paper. Uh, so come in here. And so then the back side of this is just that. So for this one, the back side of this is not super exciting. So I don't think I'm going to do the cut through on the envelope to show the pattern through. I'll highlight that in another video um, later this week. Today we're just going to work on the actual lining of the envelope. So I'm going to ink this first so that I don't have those little scalloped edges to deal with when I'm trying to color it because those are going to get caught and really pull. Um, and I'm just doing this very lightly. Alright. Just a little bit more. There we go. So um, for those of you who ordered during July and earned bonus day coupons, I also wanted to remind you that now is the time to redeem them. You've got from now till I believe it's August 31st um, to redeem those bonus days coupons. So kind of exciting. Um, some of you have a lot of them. Um, and you can order out of our new catalog. So I have been able to pre-order my new die cut machine because I am a demonstrator. For those of you who aren't, you'll be able to order it in September. Um, or, you know, grab a starter kit and, um, and order it now. Uh, that's totally, um, totally a possibility as well. All right. So I'm going to grab one of the dies here. This one is the second smallest. No, I don't want the second smallest. I want the third smallest die. I think that's the one. Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to grab the third smallest die to pop in here. And then if you forget the dimensions, all I really do is I line this up on, um, on a ruler or on a grid paper and just go from cut to cut. So this is five and a quarter is how wide we're going to cut our paper. Um, and then for me, I like to cut, I like to do it so that it's not going to cover up that glue and that it's just going to come down a little bit. So I usually add like an extra half an inch onto this. So if we go from there to, so if you cut it at like two and three quarters, Two and three quarters by five and a quarter. It's going to be a nice shape. So I'm just going to trim mine up. So I've got two and three quarters by five and a quarter. And I'm going to pop that onto my die cut machine. Like this. There we go. And so I do like to do it on an angle just because um, I find it runs through the machine a bit better. So I'm going to line this up so that my top is right at the top of the paper and then my two sides are, um, are equal and like right at the edges. And then I'm going to just roll it through. Move that all out of the way. And so we just have a little bit of trim to recycle. And then we've got this really beautiful inside piece. 
So I'm going to grab this. And so when I put this on, I just kind of put it just below the, um, the glue. And when I attach my adhesive, I just do a little, oh, I forgot to do the end roll up. There we go. And roll up. And roll up. So I just do kind of around the top and the sides. And then I'll tuck that in. Make sure it's all lined up. Press that down. And then we can close our envelope to get that crease in there. So there we go. The inside of our envelope is now nicely decorated and matching our card, but we still have our adhesive there so that we can lick our envelope shut and close that up. Now, the outside of our envelope, I was going to do the fancy, um, the fancy cut through, but because I didn't, I think I might just grab, um, actually, you know what? I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to add anything else to this. So that is our envelope. Okay, so we have that beautiful envelope now to go with our card. So that is the Ornamental Envelopes stamp set and coordinating dies. So that's a bundle together on page 40 in our new catalog. And um, yeah, I hope you have fun playing with these things. And um, yeah, give me a shout if you need to redeem some bonus day coupons and all of that. Um, we're around for most of the summer and uh, when we are out, I'm still always within cell service. So um, I'm here for whatever you guys need. All right. Have a great day. Bye.